Joey Heatherton was one of the preeminent sex kittens of the 1960s, and she's still around today at age 78. Sadly, her legacy has been significantly tainted by a number of public scandals, the most notable of which involved her first and hitherto only husband. Join Facts First as we explore how Joey Heatherton lost her career because of him. Joey Heatherton was born to be a star. Joey Heatherton was born and raised in New York City, and from an early age it became apparent she was going to have an easy time becoming a star. She rose to prominence as a sex kitten during the 60s, not long after coming of age. Over the years, many people have compared her early career trajectory to that of Anne Margaret. Sadly, she didn't have the lasting appeal that Anne Margaret did. As a performer, Joey made a name for herself via appearances on programs like The Mike Douglas Show and The Dean Martin Show. She became such a popular entertainer, she was eventually given the chance to entertain troops alongside Bob Hope during the Vietnam War. In all of these respects, Joey's story mirrors those of other sex kittens from the time period, but controversy reared its head in the 1970s. In 1964, she won a Golden Globe for her performance in the made-for-TV feature Twilight of Honor. The film served as the star's debut, and the award she won was for Best New Star of the Year. From the outside looking in, it seemed like she'd have a long and successful career. In 1969, Joey found success in her personal life when she married football player Lance Rensel. Lance was a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. Like her, it seemed as if promising things awaited him in his career. Sadly, their success in both of their careers and their marriage would end. In 1970, only a year into the marriage, Lance was arrested for a decidedly problematic reason. As it turns out, he had a penchant for exposing himself to young girls. This time, Lance was arrested for exposing himself to a 10-year-old. Lance had been caught in a similar crime previously, but that incident had been swept under the rug due to the fact that he didn't yet have as high of a profile. With the second crime, there was no keeping that cat from getting out of the bag. As soon as the public caught wind of Lance's arrest, the formerly beloved celebrity became a laughingstock. The impact was so large that it affected Joey Heatherton. Lance was always insecure. Lance's career in football started in 1963, and he was playing with the Minnesota Vikings by 1965. Although many believe he wouldn't have been able to make a name for himself in the profession if it wasn't for the fact that he came from a wealthy family. During his time with the Minnesota Vikings, he developed a reputation as a playboy. But he also developed the decidedly more negative reputation of being constantly injured. He got injured so much it became expected during games. It was during his time recovering from one of these injuries that he sunk into his first depression. And then he committed his first crime. According to Lance himself, he was sitting around reading George Orwell's 1984 while nursing a football injury when he decided to go for a drive. In his state of depression, the football player drove to a playground and exposed himself to two underage girls. Given that Lance had a continued career in football afterwards, one might imagine that he wasn't caught this first time around. However, Lance was caught and convicted of the crime. Instead of him being banished from pro football, it was agreed he could stay on and play so long as he agreed to undergo psychiatric treatment. Given that he wasn't that popular of a player, not much was made of his first sexual offense. He was given the reduced charge of disorderly conduct and traded to the Cowboys in 1967. His time there proved much more successful, and he was soon finding himself a star in the NFL. It was via this star status that he was able to secure his sex kitten wife. Lance met Joey Heatherton, and they married in April of 1969. The marriage was widely covered in the media. How Lance Got Arrested a Second Time At the end of the day, it doesn't seem as if Lance Renzel ever had what it took to become a pro football player. Not long into his tenure with the Dallas Cowboys, the team started to fall apart. Much of this failure was blamed on Lance, and the wide receiver started to sink into another depression. This time, it was abated by another notable piece of art. He was viewing Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, and that allegedly sunk Lance into the stupor that caused him to commit a sex crime. Lance claims he reacted very strongly to his viewing of the movie. 
when it was combined with the negative space he was already in because of his lack of career success, the chemical reaction caused some very bizarre behavior. Once again, he went on an aimless drive and ended up exposing himself. This time, it was to a 10-year-old girl. As with the previous time, he was caught, but the judicial system wasn't quite as lenient when it came to his second offense, and his increased public profile meant that many more people caught wind of the crime. According to Lance himself, the reason he felt he needed to expose himself to young girls was because he felt his masculinity was lacking. He blames the fact that his mother smothered him from a young age. Given that he was a professional athlete married to one of the most attractive women of the time, it may come as a surprise to viewers that he should have felt so insecure in his masculinity. However, it's hard to be certain about what's going on in someone's head. The incident ruined the pair's reputation. Lance claimed he'd found everything he could have asked for in a woman when it came to Joey Heatherton. Unsurprisingly, Joey didn't feel the same way. Once it was revealed, she was married to a sex offender. The two separated soon after the arrest and the marriage was over officially in 1972. Given the fact that Joey was just another innocent victim, she arguably should have been able to recover. But she's still a controversial figure today. Though the second-hand controversy she inherited from Lance was the first thing that called the star's legacy into question, she's done plenty in the years since to sully her own name. In the decades since, Joey has been accused of assaulting numerous people herself. This pattern started in the 1980s when it was alleged that the fallen idol had slapped a clerk while visiting the offices of the U.S. Passport Agency. A year after this, she was arrested a second time when she was accused of throwing knives at a man who was apparently both her ex-lover and ex-manager. Much of her erratic behavior during the time period was chalked up to drug use. More recently, she came back into the news again for another assault. In 2014, she was accused of assaulting a noisy neighbor with a high-heeled shoe. According to the story, Joey and this neighbor had a habit of feuding over the latter's penchant for making noise, and it eventually became too much for the fallen celebrity to bear. Joey decided she'd take the matter into her own hands by waiting in the neighbor's apartment while she was away with a high-heeled shoe. When the neighbor came in, Joey relentlessly attacked. Thankfully, the neighbor was awarded a restraining order. Joey's legacy as a 1960s sex kitten has been lessened by numerous controversies, though she didn't technically cause all of them. Now it's time to hear from you. What part of the story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.